governor to award best drinking water on Long Island. But even as judges are honoring the best, to worrisome word that water quality is declining and it's blamed on human behavior. CBS 2's Jennifer McLogan has this report. Cleanest looking, tastiest water was being judged in Franklin Square. A water quality conference kicked off in Huntington with an urgent message. People shouldn't confuse good taste with good quality of drinking water. Many of these chemicals, like nitrogen, as well as the very uh, low levels of toxic chemicals, cannot be tasted. Hundreds of citizens joined scientists, not in a blame game, but an appeal for everyone to accept responsibility for a serious decline in drinking water quality. We have a unique geology on Long Island that is very different than lots of other places in the Northeast. We're sort of a sandbar, and underneath that sandbar is a lens of water from which we derive all of the water that we use every day. Three million people, no reservoir system, pumping water from below and filtering it. And now studies show dramatic increases in runoff from lawn fertilizers and farming pesticides, household chemicals and pharmaceuticals down the drain, untreated septic tank sewage, rapid unchecked overdevelopment. Experts and even water districts are concerned that growing pollutants below the surface are impacting drinking water, beaches, bays, and harbors. Everybody has a role in changing the behavior that caused the problem so that the water that our children and grandchildren drink will be safer and pure. Long Island lawmakers in Albany today proposed legislation to protect water and prevent pollution.